What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a burst effect on your text using Photoshop. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is open up Photoshop and then go to File, New, and make the file size 1280 by 720. And make sure that the background is black and go ahead and hit Create. Now the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and select the text tool. And the, for the font, we're gonna use Reckoner Bolt. And we're going to go ahead and type burst. So go ahead and type burst. Click OK. And now you want to move your text to the center. And I think that's good right there. So now the next thing you want to do is right click on your text. Go to blending options. And then uh, select gradient overlay. And go ahead and uh, click on the color box right here. And for the first color, we're going to select uh, dark blue. So make this dark blue. Click OK. And for the second color, we're going to select uh, lighter blue. So that's good right there. Click OK. And OK. And I'll go ahead and select uh, bevel and emboss. And for the depth, I'll make it 440 for the size. Bring it up to 5. And then down here for the highlight mode, for the opacity, bring it up to 80. And the one for shadow mode, bring the opacity to 70. And go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our layer three times. So hit Control J three times. And you should get three copies of your layer. So now what we're going to do is um, hold Control and select all three of your copies. And I'll, I'll right here where it says normal, change it to dissolve. And now what you want to do is right click on one of your layers, rasterize type, then right click again, and then merge layers. And all of your layers are going to merge. And once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is go to filters, go to blur, radio blur. And select uh, for the blur method, select zoom. And for the quality, select best. And for the amount, bring it up to 100 and click OK. And you should get something like this. So now the next thing we're going to do is uh, right here where it says normal, you're going to change this to linear dodge. And we're going to go back to filter. Blur. Radio blur. And just go ahead and click OK. And once you're done with that, if you guys want to make the effect stronger, you could just go ahead and hit Control J. And it'll make your effect stronger, or you could just leave it like that, however you guys want. But uh, yeah, guys, this is how you create a burst effect on your text. So hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.